The fabulous, entertaining Remington Ride. Thank you, Remington. <laughs>
Oh, I'm surprised at myself. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll clean off that shell. Just a few old keepsakes way back on the shell.
one. Cannibals ate a clown? Yep. One looked at the other one and says, does this guy taste funny to you? <laughs> well, folks, can you imagine my life? Traveling with him four days a week in that bus stop. Can you, you imagine my life? I met him. No, seriously. I mean, I, I will tell I do love him. I hate to say it, but I do love the guy. Uh, I, I do love you. I do love you. I met him a long, long time ago. I met him when I was four years old. I mean, the first time I ever met Billy. Why is that funny? <laughs> four years old, my dad, I remember like it was yesterday. My dad said, son, I want to take you down to Sunset Park. You're going to see this banjo play. You went to Sunset Park. Sunset Park, four years old. Like I said, I can see it very clearly. I, uh, my dad asked me if I get down to see you. I had uh, better <laughs> things I wanted to do, but I, I told him I, I, I would. So we got in uh, our station wagon convertible. Nice, nice <laughs> we went down to uh, Sunset Park. And I remember my dad, I got out of my, that car. I just hopped up because the roof was down. So I just sort of hopped up. And my dad took my hand towards the stage, and we walked towards the stage. And remember, I was just four. And we looked on the stage, and there he was. I mean, sort of emotional. I stood there for about five minutes. I watched him on stage for five minutes. And four, it's hard to even, you know, you know it's a memory if you can remember it. And finally, I looked up at my dad. I said, Dad, I said, thank you so much for bringing me to see him. I said, where did you hear about him, my Dad? And my dad looked down at me and said, well, son, when I was your age, my dad took me to go see him as well. <laughs> remember like it was yesterday. It doesn't matter now. It's a memory. How many people like country music? How many country music fans? Well, now, I wrote a song. He said he was going to be quick. He's quick. You know, I'm just kidding with him. I wrote a song about how I feel about country music, and I'd like to do, do it for you. And I, we can't see with these lights, but you know what? I'm, I'm pretty proud of the song, but I want to see if we're on the same page here in Lyon, Lexington. So if I'm singing the words and you guys are agreeing with me, just make some noise. I don't care if you interrupt me. I want to know if we're on the same page here tonight. Will you do that for me? All right. This one I got recorded, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. And we can start it without him. He'll be up here. It's a song that goes like this. <laughs> Seats right here. At the end of the word grave, 
Are you willing to risk your paycheck for two weeks that they're going to get extremely loud that the folks in the town of Lyme, Lexington is going to hear it? Are you willing to risk your paycheck for these folks here tonight under the tent? You know what, Ryan? I done talked to Dale. Everything's taken care of. I have nothing to lose. I'll risk it. Oh, well, Dale's not going to do it. It's up to the people. Are you willing to risk your two weeks paycheck? How much am I getting paid? Maybe nothing. <laughs> I'll risk it. You're risking it. Two weeks. Oh, but you have a lot of I confidence mean, in these I people. I have a three-story mobile home we got to take care of. <laughs> we understand that. <laughs> you better hope they get loud. You better hope I'm happy with the response. Here we go. Good luck to you. I said, Hank is looking down, rolling over in his grave. Oh, I got the checkbook. How about a little Jones, Packard, or Cat? You don't want to hear that kind of style that's bringing back. Oh, Larry Cordon was right. There was a word on music road. Oh, where's the real country go? Oh, Larry Cordon was right. There was a word song here we have on the Storytellers Museum, uh, Storytellers Museum, that's a sponsor of ours, but on the Storytellers album here. This is a great song, and uh, Mr. James King did it, recorded it, and uh, we recorded it as well, and the tribute album to James. We hope you enjoy it tonight, we hope we do it justice. It's one that goes like this. Two old friends shared a room, and a home for the elderly. Confined to their beds, their bodies given way. Old Joe lay by the window as the days go by. And Bill lived to hear him tell about the world outside. They shared with each other the stories of their lives and relived all the memories, dreams of a better time. Outside the leaves are changing, summer turned to fall. From the bed by the window, old Joe described it all. From the bed by the window, he tell how the children played. The lovers in the park, the doves out on the lane. A little boy. Swept the sidewalk when the sun came up each day. From the bed by the window, he told it just that way. A new 
a friend shared a room and a home for the elderly. Confined to their beds, their bodies given away. Now Bill lay by the window as the days go by. And his new friend lives to hear him tell about the world outside. From the bed by the window, he tell how the children play. Lovers in the park, the ducks out on the lake. A little boy. Swept the sidewalk when the sun came up each day. From the bed by the window, he told it just that way. Two old friends shared a room in a home. for you tonight and uh, bring back some memories I know. Uh, well, uh, you said you like country music, so we might as well do one here, but uh, let me ask you something. I'm not sure how big this is going to go over, but I'll ask anyways. <laughs> how many people like to party here in Lyon, Lexington? <laughs> I knew that was going to be the response. That's fine. Uh, we don't like to party at all either. We're not partiers. <laughs> no, I didn't. We don't party, but we like to party during the show. Okay, during the show. Okay, so we like to, this is our party time up here, okay? So when I ask you again if you're a bunch of party animals, just act like you are, okay? It'll make me happy, all right? Hold on, let me stage this again. <clears throat> well, oh, man. Uh, how many people like to party here in line left side? <laughs> now we're talking. We call this party time on the Remington Ride Program. The way this is going to work is these boys up here, they're going to come front and center during their break of this song, and they're going to tear it up for you. And I want you to give me some response of who you think is partying it up and doing the best job during their break. And I'm going to listen to it. Now, don't let me hang, and I want to know for sure who it is. Will you be there for me, everybody? Will you be there for me? Are you boys ready to party it up? All right, let's do it. It goes like this.
This dog house here is so mighty small, better than no one at all. Move it on over, scoot it on over. Move it on, go down, close the hot dog. Come check him out in his teaching stuff. Why? You know, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he was going to be teaching. So I went in there and gave him one of them little chairs. I'm sitting there, you know, and uh, it was the day that the, the kids brought teachers presents. Oh, that's good. It was the cutest thing. Man, this, this little, first little girl, Lashonda. What was her name? Lashonda. Lashonda. <laughs> Sure, she's a sweetheart. Sweetheart, sweet girl. Yeah, he knew her parents owned the bakery. Oh yeah. So he takes that little package from her. He said, "Lashonda, is this a cookie?" She goes, "Ah, cupcake." Uh -uh. So he opens it up, and it was just a nice little piece of candy. Oh, that's you nice. Know, it was cute. It was cute. Next, next little girl. She was a sweetheart. Little Ra Ramon Joe. <laughs> Ramon Joe. Would I lie? What school is Virginia? <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm sure she was yeah, sweet. She was a sweetheart. And he knew that her parents owned a, a pizza place. Oh, that's good. So, so he, she, Very he Italian took a name. <laughs> <laughs> you know the family. No, I don't oh, know yeah. the family. He shook him up. Is this a pizza? And she goes, ah. Oh, that's cute. It was the cutest. And then... The little boy called him up. Yeah. Jomo. <laughs> Jomo. Let's really get on with this. Jomo. It was Jomo. You never heard that name? No, I never heard it. Jomo. <laughs> he knew that his parents owned a, a liquor store. Liquor? Yep. So he takes that thing and he starts to shake the box and it starts leaking all over his hand. He goes, Is it, is it wine, Jomo? Uh. Is it champagne? Uh. It's a puppy. <laughs> oh, Jumbo got you, huh? It happens, it happens, it happens. Well, uh, where are we going to go from that? All right. Josh, come on up here. <laughs> he likes Del McCurry. He got a Del McCurry song he'd like to do for you, and he's doing a lot of singing, doing a great job. So do that Del McCurry one for me tonight. Said some time ago, we 
by home and plan on things to be. Oh, we had some kids and raised them till they're grown. Only things ain't looking good for you and me. Get in your way if you're not happy. If he's the one you want to go to him now. Don't you keep on coming back, let me love you. Oh, what we had is over and in When we first met, she took my heart and kept it. The thoughts of you just warmed me through and through. That love still burns if only you would let it. Well, do you love and tell me it ain't true? Don't let my love get in your way if you're not happy. If he's the one you want to up to him now, don't you keep on coming back and let me love you. Oh, what we had is over and in. Get in your way if you're not happy If he's the one you want to up to him now Don't you keep on coming back and let me love you For what we had is over and in yeah. Come on up here, Bodie, get your fiddle Come on up here, Bodie Come on up here is it alright if we do some fiddling real, real quick here for you? We got some requests here. We got some gospel requests coming up here. There. here he comes. We're going to do this for our. Sorry. Actually, we won't make it too high. We both can play with it. So we're going to do this for our dear friend Arnie back there. Arnie, you, we can't see you, but we're going to his farmhouse tonight and staying. And, and, uh, he cooks breakfast, so I better do him a song. So, uh, uh, we're going to be in Boyertown tomorrow to church uh, in the afternoon. And, uh, it's been been a good weekend for us, so if you're going to be around tomorrow, come on up and be there with us in Boyertown. We won't do all the same stuff or anything, so we want to thank Arnie. This is Arnie's favorite song. Bertie loves it, too, so, and, uh, and he, he was mad at me because I didn't give him the three songs, so we better get him up here to do this one for you. How about some old-time fiddle? Do you like this one here? Send it out to Brother Arnie. All right, all right, we're going to do this for you. A little ragtime, Annie. Hope you enjoy it. Go get it, boys. Yeah! <laughs> 
Alright, I'm going to change the pace here. Do a song I wrote uh, quite some years back. And uh, we were up in New York State, probably about 3 in the morning, I'm guessing it was. It was just me and Billy up there, and, uh, up front. At that point, we were in a 15 passenger van. <laughs> Billy loved that. <laughs> but uh, I got that bus out there for Billy. That's how much I love him. So I got that bus sitting there for you, Billy, because he's driving in now. So I really did get it for you. You know I was going to quit. I knew you were, yeah. 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 It was because of the travel, right? No. What? You owe me a lot of money. What? I couldn't afford to quit. <laughs> Billy, come on. Well, I know there was some talk around the, the band about maybe possibly getting rid of you. I heard about it. It was going around. We talked about it here and there. Oh, oh, oh I heard about it. And, uh... <laughs> Loves his fiddle. <laughs> Anyways, all seriousness is business. We talked about we talked about it. I talked to all the guys. We decided we came to an answer. We're not going to get rid of you. We can't afford to get rid of you, so you're going to be in the band. So don't worry about a thing. I want to clear that up. Okay, we can't afford. It. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. You're welcome, Billy. We figured. We figured if. Uh, if we fired you, we would no longer get the senior citizens discount on all the restaurants we go to. So, buddy, don't worry. Don't worry about a thing, buddy. Now, I like you, man. You're fired up tonight. Uh, no, uh, we were about three o'clock in the morning. Billy got the blue. He said, "Ryan, he said you should write a song about a little girl who sees Jesus before she passes away." And I thought, well, where did that come from? Well, we knew where it came from. And about two weeks later, I wrote this song. And uh, that fiddle in the background there. Uh, I wrote about a little girl, eight years old. She died of a brain tumor. And her name was Sarah in the song. Anyways, I got the whole song done. I sang it to my uncle's girlfriend at the time. And uh, she started breaking down the tears at the end of the song. She said, wow. I said, I must have a good song. She said, Ryan, that's the exact life story of a little girl I used to babysit. Eight years old. She died of a brain tumor, and the words at the end of your song were the last words that little girl said before she passed away. Now, that's powerful. So the parents contacted me, and their name was little Kyla. So they asked me if I'd change the name from Sarah to Kyla, which was their little daughter, with her the little girl, and record the song. I did record it, and it's been a good song throughout the years. It wasn't in the set list tonight, so it must be meant to be sang. But I'm going to do it for you. It's been a long time. It's one I wrote. One goes like this. There lies little Kyla, the doctors don't give her long. She's been battling a tumor since the day she was born. Her mother never left her bedside, she just lay there and stroke her hair. And every 30 minutes, she'd bow her head in prayer. Lord, all I'm asking is for one more day with her. I want to see her eyes wide open. I want to hear her speak once more. It's too soon for you to take her. There's so much she needs to do. So I'm handing over Kyla, as I have all my faith in you. A few weeks later, God answered Mother's prayer. Little Kyla and her mother were still both lying there. The clock had just struck 8 p.m. Little Kyla spoke a phrase. She said, Mommy, I see Jesus. There's no need to be afraid. Lord, all I'm asking is for one more day with her. I want to see her eyes wide open. I want to hear her speak once more. 
Shortly after Kyla spoke those words, the Lord took her away. Her mother bowed her head once more and said, I'll see you again someday. such a powerful song. Everywhere we go, you know, there's tears that uh, are falling out there when that happens. Every one of us has dealt with loss of a loved one. Every one of us. And uh, But you know, we have such a great hope. We have such a great hope. If we know Jesus Christ as our Savior, we have got a hope of eternal salvation, spending eternity with a King of Kings and Lord of Lords. What a joyous, great thing. You know, something we are all having problems in this world. There's problems everywhere. Everybody we talk to, I get calls every day. We got calls from Texas yesterday. Pray for this one. Pray for that one. And we appreciate that. But you know something? We read the end of the book. It's a fixed fight, and we win. God bless you all. Jesus is Lord tonight, and I pray that he's Lord in your life tonight. God bless you, and thank you so much for hearing that song. Thank you. How about we do another gospel song off our brand new CD? And uh, some of you have got, thank you so much that for those who got the product tonight. We appreciate it. We'll be there a few minutes after we're done, so if you didn't get a chance to go over there and visit the table, you can come over. But let's do another one off the, our brand new project, which is called God is Good All the Time, and doing real well, and I'm real proud of the project. We recorded this one here, and uh, this is, a. Uh, I love them, this is bluegrass music to a T to me. I love it. See what you folks think of this. One called Mother's Only Sleeping. <laughs>
We'll have a contest up here. Billy, it's the end of the show here. Yeah, but it won't take long. It's such a genius. I think you need to hear what this. What kind of contest? It's a contest. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask myself a question. And if I can answer it, you owe me a Coke. What? Is that genius? Billy, it's, yeah. it's Oh, it's not over? Oh, then you ask yourself a question, and if you can answer it, I'll buy you a Coke. Billy, it's it's so easy. Genius. Yeah, listen. I, it was such a genius idea. I'll start it. See, Let me get a good one for you here, buddy. It's I just, the easiest thing. I, I, I want to get a good one for you here. Here we go. Here we go. Hey! I got it. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. When you hear this, listen. Why is it you never see any dirt at the top of a rabbit hole? I got the answer. Because they start at the bottom and dig up. You owe me a coke. <laughs> Well, how'd the rabbit get to the bottom of the hole? Billy, how'd he get down there, Billy? Yeah, Billy. Get down there. That's your question, buddy. You'll have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> Folks, thank you so much, Jim. It's been a great night. Thank you, Dale and Chris. Uh, I know where, where's she at? Where's the, where's the boss back there? Thank you so much. And everyone a part of this, the staff, everyone that organizes this. Give another big hand for keeping Bluegrass alive here at Live Lexington. Give them a nice hand. I believe we overplayed tonight, so this is going to be our last number. Well, i got to say one more thing. Please, Dale, Bill. Dale asked me to say one thing. Billy, please. You know, I, I used to live right in the neighborhood, and we used to go right down the road to a church down there. Yeah. Keystone Community Fellowship. Yeah. yeah. Down there on Stump Road, anybody familiar with that church down there? Yep, yep, yep. And my wife and I, we was the first ones to get married in that church there. It was a sweet thing, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Right. Thank you so much, Billy. Uh, for everything tonight. They always ask me to do it. Second act to Mr. Ron Truman on the bass. Second act to Ron. Great job, Great job. Second act to Billy here on the five-string banjo. Second act. How about for Stan the man on the fiddle? Second act to Stanley. How about for Josh on the fine mandolin? Now? I'm Ryan Frank. Yes, that brings up the group Remington Ride. How about our bass singer, Mr. Dave Clever? Come on up here. I want you to do us all a favor. How about we all stand here? We're going to do a melody of songs here. I want you. We're going to give you all a chorus, and uh, we're going to end tonight in a, in a good way. And I want to say one thing before we leave. Thank you so much, everyone, for all your support and what we do. And I want to say God bless each and every one of you. And, uh, and if there's prayer, raise your hand tonight if there's special prayer that needs to happen tonight. Raise your hand if there's any special prayer, any request. We're going to look at them and see the hands that go up. Any special pr pr prayer tonight? All right. All right. We see the hands. Okay, when this song is done, okay, the way, the way I'd like to leave here tonight is we don't want any more songs. I'd like Billy to come up and say a last final prayer to end the night here at the, at the 10, okay? So we can see all the prayer requests. We do appreciate you. Billy, kick off this in an A chord here. You all remember it. Thanks again, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah.
thank you for this night. We thank you for all the many blessings. We thank that your name was lifted up and praised and honored tonight, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for all your benefits, Father God. We thank you that your son died 2,000 years ago on a cross on Calvary for my sins. And Father God, and he took stripes upon his back that we could be healed, Lord Jesus. And he was bruised for our iniquities and chastised for our, our wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, chastised for our uh, peace. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you for all your money blessings. Father God, as people leave here tonight, may they carry something that has touched them tonight, Lord Jesus. A little bit of part of you, Father God, to share to a lost and dying world. Let the glory of God just go with each and every one here tonight. We ask that the angels of God be encamped about every vehicle that leaves here tonight and give them traveling mercies as they head back home. Father God, we thank you. We want to praise you. We will never be remiss in thanking you for all the goodness that you've given us. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus. And all God's people say, Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you all.